Welcome back, Focus Fanatics. In this video, I'll be walking you through editing time cards. Now, there's a few ways you can access the time card window. First way is if you're at the front of the house, you can simply click on the wrench and select time cards and put your access code in there. And it'll bring up the time card window for you here. And another way you can access it is if you are in setup, you can go to employees, time cards pulls up the time card window for you or lastly if you have a little icon up here you can just click on time cards and it brings up the time card window for you and here's where you are going to do all of your editing you can quickly search for time cards in a date range by clicking on from and to and what that does is switches from the previous pay period so if you click on previous I mean from it displays a previous period pay period and two will bring it to the next pay period if you want to edit time cards for a particular job you can just simply click on the desired job you want and it has all your um, people that are associated with the bartender job or if you want to edit everybody that's on the clock off the clock or that are have time cards in a current time period you can select one of these options if you would like okay so now you'll see our employee list it's filtered out by all these options so right now we are displaying all employees that are on the clock and if you want to edit their time all you have to do is highlight it and you go time in and say they were here at eight o'clock and then save and so that automatically saves the the time in now if you'd like to clock them out from the time card window you can simply just go over here and click date out and you hit save and that clocks the employee out all right the next thing we have is uh, you can change your job if he, if he actually was not a bartender you can select the particular job that they, he was supposed to work and only jobs that are associated with the employee will be displayed the revenue center is the location associated with the employees job and if the job does not have a location then the time card revenue center is determined by the location associated with the station where the user clocked in the break on and break off are simply the time that an employee started their, their break and the time that they return from the break the declared tips is the amount of tips that employee declared at clock out the sales adjust field are uh, is the field that tip sales are adjusted by so whatever amount that you have in the sales adjusted field adjust the tip sales amount uh, tip sales amount this field is also often used to allocate banquet sales to employees that work the banquet charge tip adjust works the same way uh, tar charge tips are adjusted by this amount and then we have four fields down here uh, these are all user defined fields that allow the user to record information associated with the time card they also appear on the payroll report and these fields are defined in miscellaneous general underneath timekeeping and then adjustments okay one last trick that uh, I can show you for time cards here uh, if you want to clock an employee back in to say they accidentally clocked out and you're at the front of the house all you have to do is click on date out and it clears out the information and you can click save it's gonna say hey would you like to clock the employee back in you just hit yes and of course if you want to add a time card you just simply click add or you can hit delete and it will add or delete the corresponding time card there well that wraps it up for our editing time cards thanks for stopping by focus fanatics and until next time stay focused